Hey guys, so uh, a few people have asked me about the Emax Baby Hawk kind of a camera VTX combo and the pinouts for it basically so you can still use the VTX with a different camera. Uh, so basically the crack of the camera is you'll have to desolder these little pins that hold the camera together and it will come off and it reveals you with two sets of pads. So you'll have, if focus on it, a three pin set on the left hand side. They basically do nothing, there is no voltage, they do nothing, just ignore them. You'll be left with then four pins on the right hand side, can't quite get a focus on it. Uh, basically what you'll be looking at is your bottom pin of the four with the aerial at the top is VCC. It basically outputs whatever voltage um, you're chucking in at the bottom, which on the Baby Hawk is obviously 5 volts. The second pin up is your video input to the VTX. Uh, third pin up is the ground for the camera as well. So literally I've pulled three wires on and they can run straight through to your run cam lead, which is what I've done there. Um, and the top pin is the really strange one. The VTX doesn't seem to be basically powered um, from the 5 volt in at the bottom of the camera at all. It's not powered from this lead. It has its own separate pads. So what you have to do on the back side, if I turn it over. Do, 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 do. Don't know if you can see here, if I can get the shadow out of the way. So what I've done is literally run a loop of wire um, from the very bottom pin to the very top pin and that basically transfers the 5 volts into the VTX to make it come on as per normal while still powering it on the bottom. So you must add this, the VTX will not power on whatsoever. Um, I hope that makes sense. So yeah, loop of wire on this side and then nice simple lead for your camera on that side. If you want to run a Swift Micro this does actually fit quite nicely on the back. And all I've done is added some double-sided tape there. Um, and then you can literally plug it in and away you go. And you've got an all-in-one Swift Micro. Hope that helps. Cheers.